We all understand the challenges. We're all becoming increasingly aware of inequalities and how much of a role they play in health outcomes. The new connectivity between you know, the life sciences, the NHS and tech companies is going to be crucial to facilitate the development of new models of care. Tools like Pathway show that there is a new way to work with primary care. If we're going to do projects, let's look at different ways of doing it. And I think Pathway is a shining example of that. There's a wide cohort of people there with a whole range of risks that we've not really looked at. And using a tool like Pathway to identify those risks within the patient cohort and get them accessed quickly into curative treatment. So Pathway has changed our way of working in that we're no longer waiting for GPs to refer into us. We're actively going out, finding those patients in primary care and bringing them to us. The GP still has control of their patient's data, but they can actively share that data with the operational delivery network very safely and very securely. It allows us to actively see what our amount of work is, what patients do we need to support, and that's something we've never had before. I think Pathway can be seen as an accelerator, accelerator of finding patients, referring patients, and getting them into management pathways so much quicker. We've got many hundreds of GPs in Cheshire and Merseyside and we want to roll this fantastic tool out to as many of those GPs as we can. We want to reach as many patients as we can. But beyond hepatitis C, Pathway has a huge amount of scope. We are in the business of prevention and we know the only way to do that is to reach into GP practices and offer them interventions as soon as possible. We hope we can use Pathway in the future to reach out to as many patients as possible and offer them early scanning offer them early identification and we think Pathway could be an excellent tool right across our network. If we're going to start seeing real changes in population health, this is the approach we're going to have to take. So it's ultimately valuable for us, but its real value is for the patient because they will get the treatment they deserve.